Hey, Daddy. Jeffy, you're making a mess. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> I get it because it's hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I got a joke for you, Jeffy. What? What does a gay horse eat? Dick. What? No, they eat hey. Oh, I guess that would make more sense. But they still like dick. J Jeffy, whatever. Just get this off the couch. Let's, let's watch the news. Breaking news, okay. Since Joe Biden has dropped out of the presidential race, the Democrats are still looking for their nominee for the 2024 election to go up against Donald Trump. So if you think you have what it takes to be the next president, then start a campaign. Oh, wow, they still need someone else to run for president. Oh, Danny, can I run for president? No, Jeffy, you have to be 35 years old. Oh, Marvin, you're over 35. You could be president. I'm not smart enough to be president. Well, Daddy, that'd be the fucking pities if you ran for president, because then I could tell everybody that my daddy runs the country. Jeffy, don't say country like that. Well, all I said was country. Jeffy, you're saying it as two words. Say it as one word. It's country. I've always ever said a country. Je Jeffy, just stop saying it. Hey, Danny, I got a joke for you. What type of tree grows female peepees? What? A country. All right, that's it, Jeffy. You're grounded. And the first part of being grounded is you're going to get a vacuum and suck up all this hay. Why? Before a gay horse eats it? Yeah, exactly. So go get it. Too hard. No, that's what she said. What? Who is she? But, like, like, you know, like a, that's what she said? Like, like a girl has said that before? Who has said that, Marvin? Yeah, what's her name? But no, no, no girl has said that to me. It was a joke. Oh, well, that's embarrassing. So you lied? It's a joke. A joke is not a lie. I mean, it's not a true thing that happened, but... It... So let, me, let me see who that is. Hello? Hi, Marvin. Oh, good, man. I don't have my house payment this month. I don't give a fuck. That's not what this is about. So what's it about? I need you to run for president. But me? Why me? Because I am in a shithole of tax debt right now. I haven't paid my taxes in 10 years, and I'm actively being audited. They're already seizing my offshore bank accounts. So I need you to run for president so you can pardon all my tax debt. Well, why don't you just run for president and pardon yourself? I don't want to run for president because I don't want to have to live four years in the White House. Ew! Poor! My house is way better than the White House. Not to mention, the president's not allowed to drive. So how am I going to drive my Lamborghinis? Ew! Poor! And also, the last president that got sucked off in the Oval Office got impeached. I get sucked off all the time, Marvin. Like five to ten times a day. So I'm going to be impeached as fuck. So that's why I need you to do it. Well, I don't even think I have what it takes to be a president. Marvin, the only thing you need to worry about is money, and I got plenty of it. So I'll sit there and I'll support your campaign. Super pack as fuck. Are, are you sure I have what it takes? Yes. You like ice cream? Yeah. Well, great. You're a perfect replacement. Let's go get you a really nice suit and shit. Okay. Marvin, that's a nice suit. That looks good. Whoa, Marvin, what are you all dressed up for? I'm running for president. You are? Fuck yeah, he is. And I've already funded your campaign $200 million. So now you're the Democratic nominee. I am? Yeah, so now let's go to your first debate. Debate? Well, what am I even going to say? I don't know. Just answer the questions and do whatever you think. Okay. Come on. Hello and welcome to the 2024 presidential debate where Donald Trump will be debating new Democratic presidential candidate, Marvin Marvin. No fuck, that's his actual name, Marvin Marvin. All right, candidates, I'm gonna ask you some questions and you answer them. We'll start with you, Mr. Trump. What would you do to secure the border? Well, the first thing I would do is I would get a huge, I'm talking huge pair of scissors and I would cut right across the US-Mexico border and I would push Mexico out into the ocean so they're no longer connected to America, the greatest country in the world and Mexico would be its own little floating island of Mexicans not taking our jobs and we would maintain our Taco Bell jobs here Taco Bell is a great American cuisine filled the bellies of many Americans all right Marvin same question for you what would you do to secure the border uh the the border um I've been on a cruise to Mexico are, are they not allowed to take a cruise here like can they not visit America I, what's the problem I don't I don't even know what he's saying, and quite frankly, I don't think he knows what he's saying either. Mexicans are stealing our jobs. Mr. Trump, please allow him to finish his answer. Oh no, that was that was that was my answer. I I don't know what the I've been to Canada. Are we stopping Canada too? All right. Well, next question, Marvin. How would you create more jobs in America? Well, ever since COVID, the McDonald's and Walmart where I live are no longer 24 hours, and so if I was president, I would make them open 24 hours. So that'll create jobs because I want a quarter pounder with cheese at 2 a.m. Okay, Mr. Trump, how would you create more jobs? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do to create more jobs is hire a bunch of people to build my huge pair of scissors for the border, 
Then the next thing I'm going to do for more jobs is I'm going to hire a bunch of Mexican watchers that are going to sit on the border. And what they're going to do is they're going to watch for Mexicans trying to swim back to our great big beautiful country. And then I'm going to hire more secret service agents. And then I'm going to hire more secret service agent trainers. And a new secret service director. And in the great big factory of bandages, I'm going to hire more workers to create more ear bandages. And then in all our hospitals, we're going to have more ear doctors. They're going to be great. They're going to be very intelligent. They're going to be handsome. And then we're going to have more dome builders for my indoor rallies because I'm not going outside anymore. I'm not going to do it. You can't make me do it. All right, final question. Mr. Trump, what would you do about gun control? Quite frankly, if everyone had guns that day, this wouldn't have happened in my beautiful ear because they would have shot him before he shot me right in my beautiful ear. The doctors even were astonished of how much it bled. They said, my ear bled more blood than they've ever seen anything else bleed ever. And that's astonishing to me. You could cut your finger off and it still wouldn't bleed more blood than my ear bled that day. But uh, they're still looking into to why the ear bleeds more than any other body part that anyone has. Uh, but with that being said, I think babies should have guns. I think when you're born, they should put a gun in the baby's hands. And that is how we're going to make America great again. Fuck you. All right, Marvin, what about you? What do you think about guns? Uh, well, guns are loud and scary. And they kill people. And I, I don't think... I don't think you need an AR-15. I mean, a handgun's nice, I mean, to protect yourself. I don't I don't know why you'd ever need an AR-15, because those are big and, like, the military needs that. I don't know why you'd need that. So, I don't, I guess you buy what you want, I guess. Let me stop you right there. Let me stop you. This guy right here is a loser. I'm a winner. I bet I bet he doesn't even know how to golf. What what's your handicap? Oh, I'm I'm not handicapped. I'm 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 good. I'm mentally good. I think my son might be handicapped. I mean, I think, he, he, I think he's faking it sometimes, but I, I'm okay. I bet he can't even hit par on a par four. I, I can par four. Wrong. All right, that does it for this debate. Well, you did okay, Marvin, but I think Trump did better. The good news is we have until November to get you ready for the election, so I recommend playing more golf. Well, Marvin, I think you did great. And also, I think you're right. McDonald's should be open 24 hours again. Good afternoon, Mr. Marvin. Who are you guys? We're your new Secret Service agents. I'm Agent Earl, and this is Agent Guy. Hello. Oh, why do I have Secret Service agents? I'm not president. Well, we have to protect the candidates, too, to make sure they make it to the election. Oh, that's so fun! We're protecting him, not you! So what do you guys do all day? Well, we protect you at all times. You go to take a piss, we hold it. You take a shit, we wipe it. We protect you from everything. Oh, okay. Oh, my stomach's growling. He's got a Russian rat in his stomach trying to kill him. Get him down! Oh, oh, get, what? Down. get out of there, you Russian bastard! But I'm just hungry! What? I'm hungry! Oh, I thought you had a rat in your stomach trying to eat its way out of your abdomen, or maybe you swallowed some cyanide. No, I'm just hungry. I want to go to the kitchen and get some food. He needs food! Food! Alright, let's go to the kitchen. I got this side. I got this side. We good? We're good! Are we good? We're good! Okay, move, 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 Mm-mm-mm, these chicken and look good! Move, 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 stop! Wait, who are you guys? We're Secret Service agents for Mr. Marvin. Marvin, you running for president? I am. Oh, that's hard! Wait, what are you cooking? Oh, chicken enchiladas. Looks good, right? It looks like shit. Hey! Mr. Marvin, for your safety, I have to recommend that you not eat these. You're gonna get some kind of deadly diarrhea. I recommend we go somewhere safe with the roof, like Applebee's. I concur. I mean, we can go to Applebee's. I got this side. I got this side. Are we ready to move? We're ready to move. Are we good? We're good. Move, 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 move. Move, 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 move. Okay, Mr. Marvin, you stay right there while me and Agent Earl clear the area. Agent Earl, go! Make sure you get rid of any knives and forks. We don't want anything pointy. Uh, I, I can use a fork. No, that's what the terrorists want you to do is eat with forks. You gotta use spoons only. Hello, welcome to Apple. What the fuck? Get her, get her, get her, get her, get her, get her, get her. Who are you? I'm the waitress. Do you have a gun, you hippie? No, I work here. We good? We're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. Ugh, what can I get you? Well, just to be safe, I think we should probably get, um, one of everything on the entire menu just to make sure it's not poison. I think, girl. Are you going to pay? this time? Uh, excuse me, this is a presidential candidate. Of course we're going to use campaign money to pay. Okay. All right, Mr. Marvin, when the food gets here, don't eat anything until me and Agent Earl have tasted it. All right, here's all the food. Oh, this all looks so good. I, I mean, poisoned. I'm bringing the check before you can run away. 
Hey, what do you think you're doing, Marvin? I no. want a cheese stick. No, 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 no. I have to make sure none of this stuff is poison before you can eat it. I say we check the drinks first. Good idea, Agent Earl. Hey, what the fuck? This is Diet Pepsi. This might as well be poisoned. Marvin, I'm doing you a favor. All right, now what do I want to taste test first? Ooh, maybe the chicken wonton tacos? Or maybe the chicken Alfredo? Or the four cheese mac and cheese honey pepper chicken tenders? Or maybe the kid's cheese pizza? Just don't touch my burger. His burger. All right, Marvin, just be patient and wait right there while we test this food. Agent Earl, ready? Ready. Are we ready? We're ready. <laughs> oh. oh, that was definitely not poison. Nah. -uh. Oh, that was delicious, Marvin. What am I gonna eat? Oh, yeah, right. Well, I do have two french fries left that might be poisoned. So, how are you going to pay? <laughs> pay? We don't have to pay. He's a presidential candidate. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> yeah, I am. All right, that's it! Got it! Oh, 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 shit. Marvin, you okay, buddy? Man, damn. Oh, you got shot. Oh, we are so fired. Yeah. Oh, Marvin, I'm so sorry you got shot, buddy. We couldn't help. We were just in a food coma. We couldn't even move. You saw the gun and you jumped out of the way. Well, yeah, Marvin, it's a gun. It's fucking scary. I don't want to get shot. Your job is to get shot to protect me. Wh why would I get shot for you? Because you're supposed to protect my life. Wh why is your life worth more than mine? Well, it, well cause just your job is to, to die for me if you have to. Okay, you're definitely not fit to be president if you think you're better than everybody. I don't think I, but your job is to protect me. Well, I don't want to get shot. I mean, a human life is a human life. Why should I die for you? That's not fair. Okay, listen, then you're not good to be a Secret Service agent. Oh, I don't want to be. Fuck this. I want to get shot. I'm not doing this job. <sighs> Baby, I think I'm going to drop out of the presidential race. It's too stressful. You're not allowed to eat, and people try to kill you every day. I think that's a good idea, Marvin. Okay, how do I announce I'm quitting? Like, do I go on Twitter? I don't have a Twitter. I think you just say it. I'm dropping out of the presidential race. Who's at the door? Hello. Hello, Marvin. Oh, God, what do you want, Trump? Well, I just wanted to stop by because I heard that you dropped out of the race. I did. Loser! Loser! The hugest loser this country's ever seen. All right, well, I thought you'd be happy. Oh, I am, Marvin. Build the wall, build the wall, build the wall, huge. Build the wall, huge, and build it really tall across the Mexico border. Goodbye, Fucker. Oh, my ear! Oh, oh. Hey guys, it's Logan. Thank you guys so much for helping us reach our goal of selling 2,000 Jeffy Pianos. The Jeffy Piano will only be available until July 31st. So if you still want one, go on smlmerch.com right now and pre order yours now. Thank you so much for being amazing fans. We love you guys. And I can't wait to make more videos for you. Last time on Jeffy Ball Z. Frieza got knocked into a pool and now he wants revenge. Brooklyn guy stole Jeffy's wish again. That's starting to get pretty old. But he wished to become all powerful. Now, will Jeffy ever wake up? Let's find out. I'm gonna get my revenge! What's your plan, Lord Frieza? The plan is for me to collect all the Dragon Balls so I can be all powerful and I will never lose again! Well, what do you want me to do? You, you stupid monkey! You're gonna go and distract Jeffy so he doesn't get in the way of finding the Dragon Balls and finding them before me! Well, how am I gonna distract him? He's gonna think I'm trying to trick him again. I don't know! Figure it out, you stupid ape! Well, apes aren't actually stupid, sir. Uh, sometimes monkeys can talk with sign language. I wish you were talking in sign language right now so I wouldn't have to hear you! Now leave! Uh, okay. Oh, God. Nurse, is Jeffy going to be okay? Well, he was hurt real bad. He's lucky he didn't die. Die? Yeah, no more fighting now, you hear? Jeffy, you hear that? No more looking for Dragon Balls and no more fighting. But Daddy, I have to find the Dragon Balls to get my wish. No, every time you find the Dragon Balls, something bad happens. So you're grounded from ever looking for Dragon Balls ever again. But Daddy! No buts. Jeez. No G's either. So come on, you're going to your room. Oh. So Jeffy, you're going to stay in your room and play with toys like a normal kid. But Daddy, I want to play with balls. Dragon Ball. Oh man, I'm so mad at my daddy for grounding me from looking for Dragon Balls. What's the point in being able to go super weary uh, 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 if I can still be grounded by my parents? I guess what they say is true. With great power comes great re-re-responsibilities. Uh. 
Marvin, don't you think you were a little hard on Jeffy? You heard the nurse, baby. He almost died. It's for his own good. But he's sad now. Well, would you rather him be sad or dead? <sighs> You're right, Marvin. Hey, what if we painted Easter eggs to look like Dragon Balls and hide them around the house and he can go look for them? Well, I mean, at least he'd be doing something and he'd kind of think it was fun. <gasps> Breaking news, okay? Brooklyn T Guy is considered armed and very dangerous, and he's currently flying around destroying the city. If you see him, take cover immediately and pray he doesn't see you. Huh? <laughs> That's right! I'm all powerful and I have a giant wiener! Nobody's safe! Oh my god, Marvin, look! He's destroying the city! Well, you can forget about the Easter eggs. Well, Marvin, what if Jeffy could stop him? There's no way Jeffy could stop that guy. You saw him get knocked out on the couch, and you can definitely forget about the Easter eggs. Okay. Okay, Marvin, I guess you're right. Yeah, it's better to let someone else go stop that guy. Like the cops. That's their job. And don't you dare bring up those Easter eggs again. Okay, Marvin, I get it. No Easter eggs. Well, if my daddy says that I can't go look for Dragon Balls, I'll just hit my own balls. <laughs> hey, Jeffy! What do you want, Vagina? It's Vegeta! Do you want me to kick your boss's ass again? You didn't kick his butt, you just made him fall into the pool, which is technically off limits. Well, don't report me to the Dragon Ball community. I have to. Because what you did was off limits. Was well, this off limits? <laughs> you didn't think I would dodge that? I'm the prince of all sayings. Don't keep all your eggs in one basket. Get that witch out of here. Whoa, it went into the hoop. Yeah, that was so sick. I have an idea. Instead of fighting, how about we play a 1v1 game of key basketball? First person to five points wins, and the loser has to admit the other one's more powerful. Oh, you're on, stinky vagina. Okay, I get ball first. <laughs> Swish! Alright, it's my turn! Yeah. Hey! Uh, uh. Hey, that was a travel! You didn't dribble! Well, I didn't know I was supposed to dribble it! That's the rules of key basketball, so now it's my ball! Your point didn't count! 2-0! Uh, oh, man! Alright, my ball! Yeah. Oh, where we going? Where we going? Go into transmission! What? Uh, and now wasn't it travel because I teleported. Well, I'm still winning two to one. Wait, you're not gonna try to block me? No, I'm gonna block you from back here. Okay. Uh, uh. Oh, get that shit out of here. That's goaltending. I still get the point. That's bullshit. No, it's true. That's what the rules call. It's called goaltending. So I'm up three one. And if I shoot from back here, it's worth two points. So I'll win if I make this. Uh, uh. Yeah, I win! Vagina, you cheated! I didn't cheat, I'm just better. And now you have to admit that I'm more powerful than you. Well, I can't do that because you're not Super Saiyan. Well, I'm the prince of all sayings. Yeah, but you're not a Super Saiyan. Well, how do I learn how to be a Super Saiyan? I don't know, you just gotta learn. Well, can you teach me how to be a Super Saiyan? Hmm, I guess since you did win in the basketball game, I guess I'll teach you the ways. <gasps> yeah, please teach me how to be a Super Saiyan, please! Alright, so the first thing I do is I raise my hand. And now I beat my diaper. And then you gotta get really mad! <laughs> <sighs> Whoa, that's so cool that you went Super Saiyan! Okay, I'm gonna try that. <laughs> I'm angry it's not working! Ah! Ah! Why isn't it working? You just gotta keep yelling louder and louder and louder! Ah! Ah! Like this! Ah! 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 Marvin, what's all that yelling from Jeffy's room? He's probably throwing a temper tantrum because we won't let him go look for balls. Hey there. Ah! He's gonna try to kill us! What if he tries killing Jeffy? Uh, get the water bottle! Okay! Water bottle? What, what, no, stop, stop. I'm not a cat. Stop spraying me. What are you doing here? I'm not here to kill anybody. Well, you're just lying to try to get us to turn our backs so you can kill us. What? No, I'm not going to kill anybody. I don't even have my powers anymore. Prove it. Uh, <clears throat> See? Nothing. How'd you lose your powers? Well, I'll tell you. So here's what happened. After I got my powers, I decided to go look for all the Dragon Balls again because I wanted to wish for my own planet because I thought that would be cool. So I was flying around, destroying buildings, flipping cars and stuff until eventually I did find all the Dragon Balls and I wished for my own planet full of naked women and the aliens from Toy Story because I thought that would be funny. So I'm just hanging out on my planet with my naked women and the aliens and the naked aliens because things got kind of weird there for a little while. And then all of a sudden this white 
white and purple alien dude shows up and he kind of looks like a Digimon and his name was like Refrigerator or Popsicle or something cold, I don't remember. And then he starts yelling at me about how he's the best in the universe and how he wants all my Dragon Balls because I guess my planet just came with Dragon Balls. I didn't realize that planets just naturally had Dragon Balls, but whatever. I was like, listen man, I don't know who you are, but you're not getting my Dragon Balls. So then he starts pointing his finger and then he starts shooting these lasers out and he's killing all my babes and all the aliens and I'm like, you want to go, dog? So I start throwing haymakers. I'm teleporting around him, punching him and stuff, and I punch him in the balls, and it turns out he doesn't have balls, because I don't really know what kind of gender he is, because he's like an alien or something. And then he says, look over there, a naked woman. And, I mean, I look, naturally, you know, because, like, naked. And then while I'm looking, he knocks me out, he steals all my dragon balls, he wishes for my powers, and he blows up my planet. So that's how I lost my powers. Why Toy Story aliens? I don't know, they seemed cool. Seemed like they knew how to party, until they started banging and all my hot chicks. I'll never get the sound of that squeaking out of my head. Well, you're still not allowed here because you kept stealing Jeffy's wishes. Hey, come on, man. Look, I'm done with all the Dragon Balls and the wishes. I don't care about that stuff anymore. I just want to be normal now. No, you knocked Jeffy out with your stupid power, so leave. No, really, I'm, I'm really sorry. I even wrote you this letter about how sorry I am. I'm sorry. Yeah, see? See how big the frowny face is? That, that's because I'm very sorry. That's how big sorry I am. Well, you should still leave. Marvin, look the news! <laughs> Breaking news! A guy named Lord Freezer has been flying around destroying the city! And I'm not gonna stop until I kill Jeffy! Oh, where are you, Jeffy? I'm coming for you! <laughs> oh my god, Marvin, he's coming for Jeffy! What are we gonna do? Oh, you guys will be fine. Are you sure? Yeah. What if that's him? We have to hide Jeffy! Oh no, that's not him. That's probably all the I'm sorry pizzas I ordered to show you how so sorry I am. But there's like seven pizzas, so I'm gonna need you guys to come to the door and help me carry them. Okay. Hello? Special delivery! Did someone order a pizza pie or a pizza die? Well, you really messed them up. <laughs> yeah. You got my 20 bucks? Hold on a second. Oh, yeah, I don't usually betray people, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks. So, uh, we gonna have that take over the world pizza party? Oh, not just yet. I gotta murder them first. Murder? You, you <laughs> didn't say anything about murder. Oh, oh. Any last words, puny humans? Hey, 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 you didn't say anything about murdering anyone. You just said you were gonna hurt them. Oh, I'm trying to take over the world! And if I wanna hurt Jeffy, I have to hurt everyone around him. <laughs> they already look pretty hurt to me. Oh, no. They need to die! <laughs> Them. That's really messed up, man! That's the point? That is what murder is? Uh, do you want to die too? No. Uh, that's what I thought! Now get out of my way. Jeffy! Where are you? I gotta do something. Jeffy, where are you? Okay, it's time for me to finally be a hero. I finally get to kill him. <laughs> you thought you could kill Lord Frieza with a bat? Not really, no. <laughs> <sighs> Back to business. Oh, Jeffy, come out and play! Peekaboo, I see you. Oh, uh, Lord Freezer, did you find the Dragon Balls? Ha <laughs> ha sure did. I found two sets, one on the planet I already destroyed, and these. <laughs> what are you going to use your two wishes for? I already used one to steal somebody else's powers to become all-powerful. <laughs> and I'm going to use these to make sure every monkey dies a horrible death. <gasps> Wish for me to die? I mean, yeah, you're useless. <laughs> I already found the Dragon Balls, and all I need is myself and my finger. <laughs> what? So you're really gonna kill me after everything I did for you? Vegeta, <laughs> you did it! You finally went Super Saiyan! I did! I did go Super Saiyan! Ooh, look at you! You finally grew some hair! Big whoop, stupid monkey! I'll show you a stupid monkey! <laughs> <laughs> You dare try to take on Lord Frieza? Die, stupid monkey! Ah! Uh, Vagina, are you okay? Uh, I got this. All the years I had to put up with Lord Frieza, and now I'm gonna get my revenge! Ah! <laughs> Too easy. Vagina, no! How I killed your parents? You didn't kill my parents! Oh, yes, I did. Come look! Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Don't want you making a wish. I need to take these. <laughs> Come on, man. See, look, dead, like you're about to be. You killed my parents! You're a monster, Freezer! <laughs> 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 
or effort. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go finish him. <sighs> you did it now. Do you give up? If you give up now, I'll spare your life. All you have to do is become my slave for eternity and suck my toes. They're big and pointy. <laughs> I don't give up. <laughs> you know this is only 10% of my power, right? You want to see 100? Not really. I'm too <laughs> I'm too powerful. Why the fuck am I so powerful? Why? Tell me you quit. Please tell me you quit. I want to hear you beg for your life. <laughs> beg! 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 Uh, never. <laughs> Destructo this! What? <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe my mommy and daddy are dead. Oh, wait. I have all the Dragon Balls, so I still get one wish. I can't wish for them to come back to life. Dragon come, dragon come, let y'all make the dragon come. Hi there, I'm Boopy the Dragon, and you get one wish. I wish that everyone that Lord Frieza killed was back to life. Your wish is my command, poof. <sighs> Wait, what happened? Yay, my mommy and daddy are back to life. Wait, back to life? We died? Yeah, but I used the Dragon Balls to wish you guys back to life. Hey, you wish me back to life too? That's really nice. I thought you hated me. Well, I really just wanted my mommy and daddy back to life. Oh, well, you got me too, so thank you. And, and guys, I'm actually really sorry about betraying you again. What? No, you, you betrayed us. You said there were pizzas. Well, there were pizzas. Yeah, Marvin, there were pizzas. I just didn't tell you the part where he was going to kill you. But to be fair, I didn't know he was going to kill you. He was just supposed to hurt you, so. Are we, are we cool? I mean, he killed me too, right? So, we're cool? Cool? Right? Buddy? We're cool? Cool? After a brutal struggle, Frieza is dead, and Jeffy finally got to use a wish. For once, everything seems peaceful in the universe for Jeffy. But wait, who could this new mysterious person be? A new friend for Jeffy, or a powerful new foe? Find out on the next episode of Jeffy Ball Z. Tunes. I've been in the beat laboratory cooking up some nasty beats. Now, who wants to hear it? No, Jeffy, we're really tired. Please just go to bed. Well, let me just hit this button 11 times. No, Jeffy, just go to bed. No, I don't have to. No, I don't have to. I don't have to go to bed right now. I want to stay up all night and play some Fortnite. I never want to go to sleep again. Go to bed. Don't have to. Don't have to. Don't have to ever, ever sleep again. For I'm going to eat lasagna and maybe a banana singing Jeffy Wiffy Doodle all the day. Hell yeah. Thank you, Connecticut. I'll be here all week, fuckers. Ugh, that was totally righteous! Righteous totally, dude! Oh, Jeffy, please go to bed. Alright, how about three more songs? No! Alright, how about four? <laughs> Marvin, we're gonna need this monster to stay up with Jeffy all night. Yeah, just go ahead and open it. What's a monster? I want a sip. Uh, no, no, Jeffy, no. It's a very dangerous, scary drink. So when you drink it, it turns you into a monster. So you, you don't want to drink that. Well, you guys were going to drink it. Well, no, 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 we weren't. No, we weren't. Uh, Rose found it, and it's very dangerous. So we were gonna go pour it out so no one could drink it. Well, I'll pour it out for you. No, only adults should pour it out. So I want to pour it out. I got my way. I got my way. Jeffy, are you really gonna pour it out? Yep. Marvin, if he drinks that, we're screwed. He, he's not gonna drink it. He's not gonna drink it. He's afraid of monsters, and maybe he believed our lie. Hmm. Do I really want to pour this out, or do I want to turn into a big, scary monster? Marvin, do you think Jeffy poured out that monster? Yeah, I think he did. What? Jeffy, did you drink that monster? Does your rocking horse have a wooden pecker? Of course I did. You told me it was going to turn me into a monster. But now I feel like I'm the Flash. 
Jeffy, oh my god, he's gonna be up forever now. Marvin, is Jeffy asleep? Let me check. He, 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 he fell asleep, he finally passed out. Oh, thank god. Okay, if we stay really quiet, then he won't wake up and we can go to sleep. Okay, Marvin. I'm awake! Oh! Marvin, quick, go eat at the door before they ring the doorbell again. Okay. Hello? Hello, sir! I'm a traveling bell shop, and I was wondering if you wanted to buy any bells. Oh, shh, please be quiet. Oh, sorry, I didn't know I was supposed to be quiet. Uh, your bells are really loud. Oh, yeah, they're the loudest in town. Let me show you what I got in stock. What the Check this shh. out. What? Not really a bell, but it's really loud. It's a wind chime. What? Can, can you please put that down? Sure. And then, if you need anything industrial size, we have this great tambourine. What? Please be quiet. Please. It's so loud it broke my glasses. What? And we have a maid bell. Okay, okay, that's really cool. Can you, no, just stop, please. And if you ever have a fantasy about being a hotel maid, check this out. Can you please stop it? So you're not going to buy anything? No! Wow. Wasting my time. Unbelievable. To make a living, you know. Give me my glasses back. Oh my god. What the hell was that, Marvin? It was a bell salesman. What does that even mean? I don't know. Did Jeffy wake up? Almost. We have to keep it down. Well, nothing else is gonna make noise tonight. We're gonna be okay. Okay. <laughs> Marvin, go fix it. Go stop it. Okay. All right, guys. Lizard Guts is back. Heck yeah, it is. Best believe it, dude. All right, let's rock. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Man. My son is trying to sleep in the other room. Yeah, well, rock and roll never sleeps. Listen, if you don't stop playing that music, I I'm gonna do something bad. What are you gonna do about it, old man? <laughs> what? Hey, what? Okay, hey, get, get the back. <laughs> Bro, that's my guitar. That's what you get for making noise. Well, I'll admit, that was pretty punk rock, but I'm still gonna tell my dad. <laughs> Marvin, what was all that noise? It was a kid playing the guitar. Tonight of all nights. Well, don't worry, I stopped it. Well, how did you get them to stop? I took the guitar outside and I smashed it. Marvin! Well, it was the only way to get them to stop. They were too cool to stop playing. At least Jeffy didn't wake up. Let's try to go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that beat. Hello? Hey, son, is this him? Yeah, Dad, that's the guy that smashed my guitar. Oh, so you don't want to like to smash little black boy's guitars, huh? Shh, keep it down. It ain't no keep it down! The world needs to know about your racism! You like to smash little gay black boy's guitars because you're stuck in your ways. You want to hear your shoebox music. No, he's white. No, I ain't, I ain't no he's white. Look, little Nas X is black and a gay rock star. Why can't my son be a black gay rock star? Yeah, you tell him, Dad. Well, listen, I promise you it has nothing to do with the color of his skin. Can you just keep it down and just be quiet? Look, I smashed his guitar because it was loud. <laughs> Guitars are loud, you idiot! You, are you gonna get mad at planes because they, they loud too? Or, or crowds because they chill and they loud? No, no, no I, I, look, what can I do to get you to leave? I need to be compensated for that guitar right now! Well, how much was the guitar? Well, we got it at a thrift store, so it was $40, but we got a 50% discount because I did a favor for the manager. I call it the mouth discount. Yeah, she know how to use her mouth to get that discount. <laughs> oh, all I have is a hundred. Give me up! Let's go, baby! I ain't got no cash! Oh. Who could that have possibly have been, Morvin? It was the parents of the kid's guitar I smashed. Why'd you have to smash the guitar? Listen, that's all dealt with. Listen, no more people are going to be ringing the doorbell, and no more people are going to be playing instruments. Let's just finally sleep since Jeffy's sleeping. Okay. Is that a lawnmower? No one mows their lawn this late at night, Marvin. Not those damn hucker dudes. Hey! Howdy, neighbor! What are you doing? Cutting my grass. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, just because it's dark outside doesn't mean the grass stops growing. Listen, my son's sleeping. I don't want you to wake him up. Can you do this like in the morning? No can doodly do, neighbor. See, I gotta cut my grass every eight hours if I want to win next year's Lawn of the Year trophy. So you're not gonna stop? Nope. Hold on. What are you doing with that bat? Going bat practice? <sighs> I got him to stop. Thank God. Maybe we can finally get some sleep. <laughs> Marvin, silence your phone! Hello? Hey, Marvin. What do you want? I'm just doing my pilot job, flying a plane. You know, those red-eye flights. It's actually pretty boring up here. That's why I called, so I don't fall asleep. Well, listen, right now is not a good time to talk. Oh, hey, I'm actually coming up in your neighborhood right now. You want me to fly as low as I can, see if I can buzz your house? Do not do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Did, did you see me? No, I didn't see you. Oh, hold on. Let me circle back and try again. Do not try it again. Go outside. Go, 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 go. Did you see me that time? No, I didn't see you that time. How did you not see me, Marvin? I'm in a giant plane. It's a 747. I can't believe you didn't see me. I wasn't outside. Oh, well, you want me to try again? No, I'm trying to sleep. Well, actually, I have to, because now I'm going the wrong way. So go outside! Go, 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 go. 
Did, did you see me that time? Yes, I saw you. Yay. Oh, damn it. See, now I don't have enough fuel to get to where I'm going, so I gotta go back to the airport. So go outside! Go, 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 go. What the hell was that? Oh, sorry. I, I kind of scraped your roof there. There's definitely some roof damage. I, I probably should have flown higher. Sorry about that. Hey, I can fix it, though. I do roofs. Well, don't fix it. Just stop calling me and leave me alone. <sighs> I can't believe Jeffy did not wake up during all that. Oh, oh my god, the fire alarm! Jeffy, why is there a fire? Marvin, today's my birthday, and I wanted to make a huge candle and blow it out. So I'm making hot Cheetos. Well, blow it out. Well, sing happy birthday for me. What? Happy birthday? Uh, happy birthday to you. Sing it louder! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! No, sing the real version! That is the real version! No, no, it's not. Sing the real version! What are you talking about? Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, cause today is your birthday! I've never heard that version! Cause today is your birthday! Blow it out! I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go turn off the fire detector. Why was the fire alarm going off? It's Chef Pee Pee's birthday. So? Listen, he was trying to make a candle. Look, look, as long as Jeffy is still sleeping, we're good. Let's try to go to bed. Who's on the roof? I have no idea. Careful! Who could be on the roof? Hey, Marvin! Shh! Don't shush me. Stupid. I thought you were supposed to be flying a plane. Oh, no. They canceled the flight because there was some structural damage to the bottom of the plane from where I hit your roof. Uh, speaking of which, I'm really sorry about that. I tried to fix it the best I could because I felt so bad, so I just kind of patched it with some scotch tape and wood. I really hope your insurance covers that. Can you just be quiet? My son's trying to sleep. Oh, hey. <laughs> Man, Look, he's a heavy sleeper. Can you just go? Oh, yeah. But how cool was that plane, though, right? It looked cool when it flew over, right? Oh, it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen a plane fly that low. Yeah, you saw it? Oh, yeah, I saw it. So what airline was I flying for? Like, what color was the plane? Oh, uh, uh, silver? No. It was bright yellow because I was flying Spirit Airlines. What other airline do you think would let me fly that dangerously? Well, listen, I'm sorry. I didn't go outside. My son was sleeping. I didn't want to wake him up. What other friend do you have that would endanger the life of 200 passengers just to say hi? You're never going to get that kind of friendship anywhere else. <laughs> I can't believe Jeffy's still sleeping through all that. Okay, let's go to bed. Marvin, did you just turn on the TV? What, what, did you sit on the remote? No! Breaking news, okay? A plane had to make an emergency landing after scraping the top of a house. In other breaking news, okay? A high-speed police chase ended in front of a house, and the armed suspect has entered the home through a hole in the roof, and police have the place surrounded now. Marvin, you don't think that's our house, do you? No, just look for the remote. The TV's really loud. Okay. Oh, it's right here. Turn off the TV. Okay. Okay, let's go to sleep. Nobody move! Oh my god! Freeze, you bastard! Drop the knife! Drop the gun or I'll kill him! Can you guys be quiet? Let him go or I'll blow you away! Well, you might as well blow me away, cause I'm not going back to jail! <laughs> Sorry about that, Marvin. Yeah, shooting him's really for the best. It's, it's better than putting him back in prison and then feeding him for several years on taxpayer money until eventually we just let him go on good behavior and he maybe eat some money. Can you just please be quiet? Man, I'm feeling really pumped. I'm gonna fire a few victory shots into your ceiling. <laughs> Oh, that feels really good. Oh, wow, your son's still sleeping? Yeah, can you please just be quiet? Oh, sorry, I'll leave. <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh, nothing, Jeffy, just go back to sleep. Well, I'm not tired anymore, so I'm gonna take off my eyelids, and I'm gonna ride my horsey. No, Jeffy, go back to bed. Oh, my uh, God. Uh, we'll never get some sleep. Guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know. <laughs> Joseph, who are you texting? Don't ask him. Do not give him the attention that he wants. But I want to know, Junior. It's not worth it. It's never worth it. <laughs> that nigga crazy. Oh, Junior, I got to ask him. Please don't ask him. Please. <laughs> oh, Junior, it's killing me. I have FOMO. I need to be included in the joke. People like that only want attention. Oh, <laughs> why did you send a picture like that? <laughs> Joseph, who are you texting? Oh, my God. You still damn nosy, Cody. But if you must know, i just been texting a dude that I met online. He's pretty chill. Wait, you met a dude online? Yeah. It's nothing weird like that. Get your mind out of the gutter. God, all we do is talk about sports. He's an Eagles fan. Wait, how old is this guy? Uh, he's in his 30s or 40s. That's weird, Joseph. No, it's not. We just talk about basketball and football, I promise. Nothing weird. The only weird thing he's ever done was send me a picture of his junk. But I think it was by accident. He must have been trying to send it to his doctor or something. But he just sent it multiple times, like many times over. More than I can count. Joseph, he's starting to sound like one of these. Nah, don't try my homeboy like that. He's not one of those. Nah, he's, he can't. 
Candy. Candy. Uh, he just likes cupcakes, and I invite him over to eat some. You invite him over to my house? Yeah, he's pretty chill. I thought you would like that. Joseph, who buys gray, yellow, and white cupcakes? They're the color of my sadness, Cody. Okay. Yes, Jeffy, cupcakes. Yummy. Wait, why are the cupcakes all messed up? Yeah, what did you pogo stick on the way over here? Now, you know my only way of transportation is a pogo stick, Cody. Oh, that's him, dude. Oh, let's meet him downstairs with the cupcakes. I'm going to call the police. Call the cops. Yeah, I was going to say call the cops. Yeah. What's up, dude? I got the cupcakes. I'm glad you can make it. What the fuck's going on, everybody? It's your boy. Eat that 445, nigga. What, Joseph, that's his name? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? So, what are you doing here? Yeah, I just took a mean-ass shit in Chipotle. And um, I've been holding this shit for almost, what, 15, 16 hours. I used so much tissue to wipe my ass with. When I flushed the toilet, it didn't go all the way the fuck down. So, um, of course, there's tissue. Not all of the tissue can go down in the fucking toilet, you feel me? Y yeah, that, that makes sense. Oh, look, Cody, the cops are here. No good. Freeze, get up and get to the wall. You're under arrest. Yeah, arrest them for talking to kids online. No, don't arrest my friend. What are you doing here, bub? Well, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake <laughs> and then go back home. Oh, yeah? Likely story. You're coming with me. Yeah, that's right. Arrest him. Dang it, guys. I can't believe you got my friend freaking arrested. You guys suck. Well, Joseph, he got himself arrested. He was one of these. No, he wasn't. He was not one of those. You're a liar. Hey, guys. Thanks for helping me catch that guy. Who knows what could have happened? He would have ate a cupcake. Oh, I don't think he was after cupcakes. Yes, he was. Look at the text. That's all he wanted. Oh, God. So much penis. Oh, it's a good thing he's in jail. He already had several charges, including destroying a Chipotle bathroom. So what do you guys want to do now? Well, you guys are so good at helping me catch people like that. If you guys weren't underage, I'd use you as bait all the time. Well, I'm not underage. I think we have today's video idea. Okay, kids, you can scram. This is a Jeffy video now. Jeffy, call your dad in here. Daddy! What do you want, Jeffy? <laughs> What are you doing here? Oh, I just came to arrest you for how you've been treating these cupcakes. Those aren't my cupcakes. Ooh, so you're saying I can have one? Sure. Okay, well, it's actually illegal to give away something that's not yours, but I'll let it slide just this once if I can have a cupcake. I said you can. Okay, well, I can't let it slide twice. You're under arrest. For what? I'm just joshing you. Calm down. What are you doing here? Oh, well, I got a job offer for Jeffy. Oh, no, I'm not working at that Five Nights at Freddy's place. Uh, no, no, that's that's a different video, and that's not happening for a while. I mean, sure as hell not in January. Adds a shit then. I mean, maybe in February. We'll see. So what's your job offer? Oh, well, earlier tonight, I, uh, one of those came over to the house and tried to talk to Jeffy and some other kids. Well, uh, one of those? Yeah, don't worry. I arrested him, but that got me thinking. You know, we could get Jeffy to go online and pretend to be a kid to attract, you know, those people, and then whenever they come over here, I arrest them. Um, that sounds kind of dangerous. Oh, what's dangerous about inviting a monster over to your home whose only intention is to assault somebody? Look, you'll be fine. How's the pay? Oh, the pay's great. It's kind of a commission sort of situation, so Jeffy would get a hundred bucks for every guy I arrest. So it'd be a hundred bucks per perv. hundred bucks per perv. So if you arrest a hundred pervs in a night, that's ten thousand dollars in a night. Yeah, but I don't think your kid is that good looking. And also, they'd have to line up at the door and take a number, and then they'd see people coming out in handcuffs. Look, well, let's just see what happens. All right, yeah, we're, we're down. We're, we're totally down. Okay, I'll go get my laptop. <laughs> okay, I got my laptop, and I'm setting Jeffy up a profile. Okay, his username is my parents aren't home 2011, and I set his age as 12. Hold on, I gotta take a picture for the profile. Make a good face, Jeffy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Okay, let me just uh, upload that. Oh, I got a biter. Okay, he's coming over. But already? Oh, yeah, my pedo riz is unreal. The things I said were diabolical. So what's going to happen now? Okay, so now whenever the guy comes over, Jeffy's going to open the door, and he's going to let the guy in and take him to the kitchen. Then he's going to say he has to go use the bathroom or something, and then this TV show host is going to come in and roast the hell out of him. Damn right! Oh, okay, well, what if the guy has a gun? He's not going to have a gun. Calm down. Oh, he's here! Everybody take your positions. Jeffy, go answer the door. Okay. Hello and welcome to How to Catch a Pervert. Just outside this door is a man who thinks he's going to be meeting up with a 12-year-old boy. But really, he's going to be meeting up with our 19-year-old decoy, Jeffy. Jeffy, I'm going to go hide in the pantry until you bring the pervert into the kitchen, and then I'm going to come out and roast him with hilarious puns. Oh, that sounds like him. He must be hungry. Answer the door, Jeffy. All right. Hello? Oh, god damn, you're hot. So, uh, yeah, you are My Parents Aren't Home 2011, right? Yeah. And you are 12, right? Uh-huh. Oh, jackpot. So, uh, you're gonna invite me in? Don't be rude. Yeah, come on in tight and smell my butthole. Oh, don't mind if I do. All right, you stay right here and I'm gonna go to the bathroom and wipe. All right, baby. 
couple sips of this NyQuil and he'll be out, and I'll be in. Hey there, sir! Back off, he's mine. I found him first. Ew! Well, what were your intentions here today? I'm trying to smash, man. What you talking about? <laughs> what you thought this was? So you're not even trying to deny it, huh? Listen, I'm not sharing. You can have what's left after. Well, nothing inappropriate's happening here today. Well, I didn't think it would happen here. I assumed we'd be doing it in, like, a bedroom or something. Listen, I don't think you understand. You're on the hit TV show, How to Catch a Pervert. Oh, you're recording this? That's great. Be sure to send me a copy afterwards. Uh, no, no, that, that's not what we're doing. Listen, you're going to jail, and this is a police officer. Well, I can't go back to jail. This is a setup. <laughs> Help, police! I'm the cameraman. Freeze, get on the ground. You're under arrest. I'm not going back to jail. Oh, shit, he has a gun. Run! <laughs> Okay, okay, let him go. Fuck it. He has a gun. Just just lock the doors. <sighs> Did I hear gunshots? Yeah, he had a gun. Did you arrest him? No, because he had a gun. Don't you have a gun? Yeah, but I left it in the car. Well, go get it and go after him. No, I want to do this. This is more fun. There's a predator on the loose that shot at police. But yeah, but you're not my boss, okay? You can't tell me what to do. Well, do we at least get the $100? No, because it's per arrest and I didn't arrest him. Oh, man, so I wiped for no reason? No, no, you wiped for a reason because I am the Rizzler and I'm going to up some old men. Well, what if the next one has a gun? Well, I'm just gonna pat him down when he comes in. You can't pat him down. He'll know he's caught immediately. Well, I'm just gonna tell him that I'm Jeffy's 14-year-old older brother who's playing cops. You don't look 14. Yeah, well, you're bald. Oh, yeah, Marvin, by the way, we're gonna need you to interrogate the next pedo. Well, what happened to Steve? Well, Steve broke his nose when the last one headbutted him, and he doesn't want to do it anymore, so it has to be you. I don't want to get headbutted. I'm not doing it. Listen, it's 100 bucks, man. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, I got one. Ooh, with a wiener pick. Ooh, put that in the small fold. Older. Yeah, I'm categorizing the wiener so I can make a collage for the Met. It's been a long time since I put one in the humongous folder, though. Might just have to take a picture of my own wiener. Oh, he's here! Okay, Jeffy, you know what to do. Marvin, go downstairs. <sighs> Hello? Hey there. Oh, hey, Jeffy. I didn't know you were 12. I'm not. I'm 19. But I lied. You said you were 12. Hey, bud. I gotta pat you down real quick. Who are you? Oh, I'm his 14-year-old brother. You don't look 14. Yeah, well, I saw your dick and I put it in the small folder. Yeah. He's clean. Well, I wouldn't say clean. I have herpes. Well, you want to come inside? Okay. All right, you stay right here and I'm going to go shave my asshole. Okay. Okay, I don't mind. Do, 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 do. Oh, look, Kool Aid. Yummy. Hey there. Ah, who are you? I am Jeffy's father. Oh, no, am I in trouble? You're in a lot of trouble. Can you pee on me? Wh what? I'm in a naughty piggy and I need someone to pee on me. No one's going to pee on you because you're on the hit TV show, How to Catch a Perv. Oh no, am I going to jail? Yeah, because you're a perv. Oh, my dad's going to be so disappointed. I'm sorry, daddy. I'm such a fuck up. You were trying to get with a 12-year-old. I was. I'm so sorry. Well, you got to leave so you can go to jail. I don't want to leave. Can I stay here with you? No, you gotta leave. Okay. Can I go out the back door? Can you go out the back door? I think so. Okay. Can I take this coin with me? Yeah, you can take whatever you want. You're going to jail. Thank you. What the hell is taking so long? Where is he? I'm ready to arrest him. So where are you from? Australia. Sydney. Guys, where the hell is Pep on my ball 69? Who? The weirdo. Oh, he went out the back door. The back? Door? You're supposed to send him out the front door. He said he could go out the back door. Well, I didn't know. God damn it, guys. We let another one get away. Get away? You don't have the whole house surrounded with cops? No, we're the only two cops here. And I'm the cameraman. God, you're only supposed to send him out the front door. Do I get my $100? No, because we didn't arrest anybody. Damn it. <sighs> Marvin, this is not supposed to be this hard. We've already lost two, and both of them are your fault. How is the first one my fault? I warned about the gun. Okay, yeah, you're right. The second one was your fault. Okay, we're both tied one at one. Your fault. Yes, okay, deal. But we're still still gonna arrest one tonight because I am going to become the Rizzard of Oz. The ultimate Riz. I'm gonna give this everything I've got. Okay, I've matched with one. Let's see. Oh yeah. Yeah, he'll like that. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's nasty. That's nasty. No, 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 no. That sounds desperate. No, that's no good. Let's try a different approach. Okay, I think I got him. And send. <laughs> oh, and we got a wiener pick too. Let's open that up. Woof. Oh my god. Look at this thing. Marvin, come look. I don't want to. Marvin, come look. Oh, sweet Jesus. I know, right? Look at that thing. That's going in the humongous folder. Can I see? No, no, you can't. No, actually, you know what? That's getting its own folder called Damn. 
with not enough storage. Marvin, do you have an external hard drive, preferably two terabytes? We don't have time for that. Oh, terabyte dick. Marvin, I'm not gonna lose this. This is a unicorn. It's like seeing a supernova in a telescope. It's one in a million. <laughs> Is that him? Yeah, it must be him. Okay, let's go over the plan. Jeffy, you're gonna bring him in and take him to the kitchen. I'm gonna pat him down. Marvin, send him through the front door. Why don't you just arrest him at the front door and we eliminate the kitchen? Huh. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know what? Let's just feel it out. Jeffy, to the door! Onward! Hello? Hey there, kid. Ready to play with my snake balloon? Excuse me, sir. Let me just pat you down real quick. Oh, God, I can feel it. Oh, God, it might as well be a gun. Can we hurry this up? I gotta let this kid play with my snake balloon. Sir, what were your intentions here tonight? To let this kid play with my snake balloon? Well, I saw the messages. I wrote them myself. Why would you write the messages for him? Does his hands not work? No, sir, th this is a sting. Are you a bumblebee? N no, what I mean is this is a trap. Where? N no, th this is the hit TV show How to Catch a Pervert. Don't you see the camera crew? Oh, shit, they're not here because we didn't tell them we were doing this at the front door. They're still in the kitchen. Okay, you know what? You're still under arrest. Oh, rats. Hell yeah, Marvin, we got one. We did, so I get $100? No, because you didn't talk to the guy and we didn't get it on camera, so we're not going to make any money off this one. Oh, well, what about the footage from the first two guys? Well, that footage is not usable because those guys got away and the show is not called How to Let a Pervert Get Away. It's How to Catch a Pervert, so we'd have to actually catch one. Well, then just try to get another pervert over here and, and I'll help. Nah, I'm all rizzed out for tonight. Maybe some other time, Though. For right now, I have to point at the camera and say something. Hey, don't talk to strangers. And definitely don't meet up with strangers you met online or on Fortnite. drinking all this soda because it's good i know it's good jeffy but it's not good for you you need to drink water there's a water bottle in there that one bottle of water is not going to make up for all the soda you drink this is not healthy well danny it does feel like razor blades when i pee from all the kidney stones see jeffy and my pee is the same color as my shirt the color of cheese jeffy that is disgusting look you if you're gonna make this mess at least throw it away all right danny i'll put them in the trash can marvin right now would be a good opportunity to teach jeffy how to recycle what's recycle it's when you reuse a can over and over again oh so i can pee in the can and then drink it and then I got another soda. Wait, no, Jeffy, that's gross. No, no. It's when you throw it away and the company reuses the can and fills it with soda again. So someone else is going to drink out of this can after I drink out of it? Yeah. What if I have AIDS? Well, you don't have AIDS. But what if I do? Now they're going to get AIDS. Well, I'm sure they're going to wash the can before they reuse it. So someone used this can before me? Well, probably. What if they had AIDS? Well, no, I'm going to get AIDS. No, Jeffy, no, they don't, they don't reuse the same can. They melt all the cans and then they make new cans. Why would they do yeah, it's already a perfectly good can. Well, yes, it is a perfectly good can, but they, they want to burn off the AIDS. So there is AIDS! I'm gonna get AIDS! Jeffy, I'm sure there's someone who's had AIDS that's used one of these cans that's before they were melted down and reused. Jeffy, there is no AIDS, okay? It doesn't even get transferred that way. Just, Jeffy, we're gonna recycle. You grab all these cans, we're gonna show you how to recycle. Okay, Jeffy, this is the recycling trash can. That logo right there means recycle. That is the regular trash can. That's where regular trash goes. Can I sue Sprite if I get AIDS? But no, Jeffy. Can I sue Sunkist if I get AIDS? No, Jeffy, shut up. Can I sue Pepsi if I get AIDS? I, I need you to focus, Jeffy. Look, in the recycling trash can, you put all the cans and bottles in this trash can. Try it. Okay. Isn't this fun, Jeffy? Your help saving the earth. How is spreading AIDS saving the earth? What, Jeffy, you're not spreading AIDS. If I hear you say AIDS one more time, you're grounded. <gasps> Herpes. Oh, Jeffy, look, go around the house and put every empty can and bottle in the recycling trash can, okay? All right, Daddy. Helping the world one AIDS can at a time. Kobe! Ugh. Marvin, don't get frustrated. It's good we're teaching Jeffy how to recycle. I know, it's just Jeffy doesn't understand normal things. Hey, um, Danny, can I recycle this Chick-fil-A cup? Yes, Jeffy. No, Marvin, you can't recycle styrofoam. What, you can't? No! Oh, probably because you can't clean all the AIDS out of it. What, Jeffy? Oh, I'm sorry, you said don't say AIDS anymore. Probably because you can't clean all the herpes out of it. Don't say herpes either. Syphilis. What, Jeffy, listen, look, you can only recycle cans and bottles. What about glass bottles? Yes, any kind of bottle, just go. All right. <sighs> Who's at the door? 
Hello? Hey, Morgan. Goodman, what are you doing here? My grandfather just died. I'm so sorry. Don't be. He was an asshole. But he left me this $5 million ship in a bottle. $5 million? Yeah, because it was the actual ship that Johnny Depp filmed Pirates of the Caribbean on. It's called the Black Pearl. They just shrunk it down and put it in this bottle for me. That's really cool. Yeah, and I need you to hold on to it for me. Well, why do you need me to hold on to it? Because the IRS is auditing me again. And if they find out I have this $5 million ship in a bottle, they're going to make me pay taxes. And I hate paying taxes. Well, I don't like holding on to your expensive stuff because something bad always happens to it. Well, I'm confident nothing bad will happen to this. Because if it does, I'm going to put you in the bottle. And then I'm going to piss in the bottle. And guess what you'll be swimming in? Piss? Mine. So, oh. here you go. Okay, hold, let me let me grab it. That's really how you plan on holding my $5 million ship in a bottle? Well, I can't really grab it any other way. That's brave. Well, look, 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 just pan up, I'll grab it. Who was at the door, Marvin? It was Goodman. He wants me to watch his $5 million ship in a bottle. Oh, no, Marvin. Every time he comes over with something for you to watch, something bad happens. You better not let that out of your sight. I'm not going to let anything bad happen to a baby. Daddy, you lied to me! What's wrong, Jeffy? You said there was no age while recycling. And what is this? Powerful age! What? No, Jeffy. That's the name of the drink. It's called Power Aid. It's one word. No, it's not. Why would they separate power from age? Because it's powerful age! What? No, no, Jeffy. It's Power Aid. It's not even aid. It's says aid. So it's just one singular powerful aid? Well, no, 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 Jeffy, there's no aid. Look, just throw the bottle away. I can even throw it away if there's something in it? Yes, you can just throw it away. Just throw it, any bottle you see, throw it away. So, I, no, so nothing, daddy, any bottle I see? Any bottle you see, you throw it away. Right, daddy. You're bothering me. I'm not gonna let anything happen to this ship in a bottle, baby. Oh, uh, Jeffy just went with the bottle! Wait, what are you talking about? Ah! Ah! No, 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 no! Johnny, see what you made me did? You made me miss recycling. Now I'm gonna get AIDS. Jimmy, why'd you throw that bottle to me? You told me every bottle. Not that one. Well, next time, tell me not that one. There won't be a next time, dude. That bottle's worth $5 million. What? No! Oh my god, it's destroyed! Marvin, what are we gonna do? Oh, uh, well, 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 the ship is still in one piece, so all we have to do is put the ship back in the bottle and Goodman won't know. How are we gonna do that? I don't know, but, but they, they somehow did it before, so all we have to do is grab the pieces and, and put it back together. So, so, so grab the ship, grab everything. Uh, okay, I have all the pieces. Marvin, I found a bottle. That bottle's too small! It's the only one we have! It's not gonna fit. Here's what she said. Jeffy, get out of here. What's wrong, Daddy? You broke my ship in a bottle, and now I have to find a way to put this ship back in the bottle. Well, I can take a shit in a bottle. What? No, Jeffy, ship. S H I P. Oh, I was wondering why it was so hard for you to do that. So leave. I gotta find a way to make this happen. Well, Daddy, I can put this ship back in the bottle. No, you can't. Yes, I can. What? No, no, you gotta break it, Jeffy. Mommy, can you hold the bottle for me? Okay. You gotta break it. Jeffy! Stop it, Jeffy! What, Jeffy, you shithead! Jeffy. Don't baby him. Hey, Marvin, you get out of here. You've done enough. Yeah, Daddy, you heard her. Well, he broke my $5 million ship in a bottle. You were supposed to be keeping your eye on it. I turned my back for two seconds and he threw it away thinking it was a bottle. Marvin, he was trying to recycle. He was trying to help. Well, now I'm going to get pissed on. Well, don't take your weird fetishes out on me, Daddy. Well, no, no, listen. Everyone shut the hell up. Look, look, I have to find a way to put a ship in a bottle or I'm going to die. Well, why don't we call a professional? A, a professional ship in a bottler? Yeah. Those don't exist. I, I can just call a handyman and, and see if he can do it, but oh, my life sucks. My life sucks so much. Hey they call a handyman? Uh, yes, please. It's an emergency. I will pay you $20 if you can put this ship in that bottle. Just put that ship in that bottle? Yes, it's an emergency. Oh, okay. I think I can do that. What, what, no, no. You, it's, you, you're, no, like, that's not what I... There you go, it's in the bottle. Pay up. Well, no, 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 that's not what I want you to do. I want you to build a new ship and put it in the bottle. What, no, you said put the ship in the bottle, and I put the ship in the bottle. Now pay up! Well, no, no, I, I need, like, a new ship. No, I, I did it, now you pay me. <sighs> There's your $20. Thank you. Oh, oh look, I, I need you to build a new, bigger ship and put it in that bottle. But I don't know how to build a ship. I'm a handyman. I fix toilets and squeaky doors. Go watch that one. It's a good one. Well, but no, you do build stuff, right? Well, small things like like birdhouses. Oh, okay. I need you to build a birdhouse that floats on water, but it's it's not for birds. It's for humans. It's a ship. But I, even if I knew how to build a ship, I don't know how I'd put it in a bottle. Oh, look, look, look. How, how about this? How about we start with the ship? Build me a ship, and then we'll find a way to put it in the bottle. Okay, I'll, I'll see what I can do. All right, well, Target didn't have any ships, but they had this police patrol boat. That looks kind of sick. It's got this lady shooting a net at the goon down here in the submarine. Oh, and they have a drone? That's cool. Even in Lego world, technology improves. 
I wonder what their names are. Oh, he's Hacksaw Hank, I guess because he hacksaws his victims to death. Why is he smiling, sick bastard? She's Gracie Goodhart, and I guess that's Frankie Lupelli. Why even bother giving them names? They're Legos. Wait, what's this guy's name? He doesn't have a name. Can we please focus? I just like Legos, okay? I do not need a Lego police boat. All right, fine, I'll keep it then. I'll put it in my bathtub. See, it says right there, boat floats. Boat, boat float. It's fun to say. Boat float. Try saying that ten times fast. Boat float, boat float, boat float, but it just sounds like I'm saying blah, 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 blah. Ow! What was that for? I need you to focus. Look, I need a pirate ship, a black pirate ship that can fit in that bottle. Well, Target didn't have a Lego set of that. Even if there was a Lego set of a black pirate ship, that'd be way too big to fit in the bottle. Okay, well, everything's gonna be too big to fit in the bottle. Well, listen, listen, can you please just go back to the store and see if you can find a ship in the bottle set or something that we can use? <sighs> okay, but you owe me gas money. Give me another 20 bucks. Ugh. <sighs> There, 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 there's your stupid 20. All right, I'll see what I can do. And please hurry! All right, I get your stupid dumb ship in a bottle thing. This is exactly what we needed, thank you! Screw off. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm mad because somebody hit my car in the parking lot while I was looking for this stupid thing. How do you know? Because there's a big dent in my bumper and they left this note that said, I'm sorry. I guess they thought if they wrote it all cute, it wouldn't piss me off. But it didn't work because I'm still pretty pissed off. Well, I'm um, sorry that happened. Yeah, screw off. You're paying for the damages on my car. But why do I have to pay for it? Because I wouldn't have even been there if I wasn't looking for this stupid thing at the store. Okay, look, whatever. Can, can you just please help me build this ship in the bottle? Okay, I'll try. <sighs> oh my god, where do we even begin? Look at all these pieces! Take that, Hacksaw Hank. No more hacksaw and people for you. What are you doing? I just built my police boat Lego set. You're supposed to be helping me with this ship in a bottle! Oh, oh man, but that, that just looks like AIDS. This is fun. It's got a drone. Ugh, I want to play with it in my bathtub. I need a Hot Pocket. Like ham and cheese? That sounds like a good night. Look, I am paying you to help me get this ship in a bottle. Please, I don't have time for this. Oh, but man, I just, uh, my back has AIDS just thinking about it. Uh, buddy, please, I need your help. Just, just help me assemble the boat, and then, and then we can figure out how to get in the bottle. Okay, see you later, Hacksaw Hank. Oh, man, that is, that is, that's just awful. I mean, that's a mess. I mean, look, like, we are adults, and that's the best we could do? I mean, I mean, look, it looks like a ship, right? I guess, like, if it was abandoned for a thousand years. Well, look, all we have to do now is put the ship in the bottle. Mm, well, I have an idea. Well, what is it? Um, I think we should break the bottle. Break the bottle! <laughs> Hold on, let me finish. I think we should break the opening of the bottle, put the ship in it, and then glue it all back together again. Well, that's gonna look messy! Well, do you have a better idea? <sighs> Okay, 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 you break the bottle, but be really careful, okay? Like, I don't want to be able to tell it was broken. Okay, got it. All right, so I'm just gonna smash this bottle on these bricks, and it'll break evenly into two pieces. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure, trust me. Oh, okay, let's try again. Oh, it's sturdier than it looks. You gotta do a little harder. You said I was gonna break it into two pieces! Huh, well, uh, hey, 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 calm down, it's okay. It's nothing a little tape can't fix, huh? Huh, little grumpy man? Oh, huh? just grab the pieces! That was our last bottle! All right. <laughs> Oh my god, would you look at that! A little bit of tape and it looks good as new! In fact, the tape kinda hides how crappy the boat is. I mean, it's better than nothing. Yeah, pay me. <sighs> Thanks for helping me. Thank you. Oh. Well, do you think it's believable that nothing happened to it? <laughs> no. <sighs> that means it's time for my funeral. Hello? Hey Marvin! The IRS just left my house, so I'm here to pick up my ship in the bottle. Well, it's upstairs. Nothing happened to it, did it? Oh, no, no, nothing happened to it at all. Because the glass on the ground out here is very reassuring. Oh, I was going to sweep that up. Yeah, you should probably do that. Uh, but let's go upstairs and look at your ship in the bottle. I can't wait to see what cartoony bullshit happened to my bottle. Well, here's your ship in a bottle. Get your ass in that bottle. What? Get in that bottle! I drank an entire gallon of water on my way over here, and I have to piss like a racehorse! So, guys, what do you want to do today? So, guys, what do you want to do today? That's all you ever say, Junior. Yeah, it's getting old, dude. Yeah, say something new. Um... Well, fellas, what kind of activities would you like to partake in this evening? Hmm, I like that better. Ooh, what a classy gentleman you, but I'm bored. Yeah, me too. Guys, check it out. I got my daddy's credit card. You stole your dad's credit card? It's only stealing if you get caught. Bingo. Well, you're still using it without his permission, so that is stealing. No, this is my daddy's credit card, and if he were to die, then I would inherit it. That's not how credit cards work. Shut up, Cody. What are you going to buy, Jeffy? Oh, no, what do you guys think I should buy? Something involving balls. I like balls. Uh, 
Alright, I'm going to buy a ski ball machine. I heard skeet and balls, so I'm in. <gasps> a ski ball machine? I've always wanted one, Joseph! Me too, dude! Look, Jeffy, go buy a ski ball machine! Alright! Alright, guys! We got our ski ball machine! All thanks to my daddy's credit card! Woo! I love committing a felony! Dreams do come true! Credit card from the Cody, what are you doing? No, I'm trying to put the ball in my mouth. Well, roll the ball, Cody. Come on, dude. Okay, here I go. Uh, oh, got a hundred. Oh my god, you're, you're really good at this That's game, Cody. Savage, dude. All right, my turn. Uh, Wait, you're, you're not supposed to throw it, you're Jeffy. Not it. Uh, what, you, you gotta my throw turn. it. But no, no, you're not supposed to throw it. You're, you're, you're gonna it. break it if you throw it like that. What? Oh, dude. you guys broke the game. We didn't even have a turn yet. Well, it's my daddy's credit card, and if anyone can break the ski ball machine, it's me. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's right. Well, now what game are we gonna play? We never got a turn. I think it should be a game involving balls and men. Oh, I got the perfect idea. Foosball table! Now this is what I'm talking about. Bunch of strong dudes fighting over a ball. Wish it was me. Uh, I don't like this game. It's pretty segregated. Blacks versus whites? Well, we all know who's gonna win. You guys are much faster and stronger than us. But you guys drive pickup trucks and lock your kids in hot cars. Well, guess who has 45 presidents? Ooh, lucky you, nigga! How many impeached, though? You know what? Better yet, name a good white rapper. Eminem! Oh, that's like get me! Come on! I'll name a black NASCAR driver. Nobody watches NASCAR! Who wants to verse me in foosball? Dear God. Well, c come on, guys, let's play. <sighs> I guess I'll play. Come on, Jeffy, I'll play you. But you, you gotta, you gotta hit the ball in the middle. <laughs> Cody, <laughs> guys, okay, guys, look, I don't like this game. It, 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 Cody, stop it. All right, guys, uh, Jeffy, why don't you buy a ball pit? Oh, is you a woman? What? No, like you know, a pit full of balls, like a Chuck E. Cheese, we can all dive in. Oh, okay, I'll go buy one of those. All right. Oh, best purchase ever. All right, guys, peep the ball pit. Whoa, this is the biggest ball pit I've ever seen. How deep is it? Like 10 feet. I'm in heaven. Dude, this is so dope. All right, Jeffy, you jump in first. All right, sayonara, hoes. Oh, I want to jump in, I want to jump in. Uh, 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 What's up? What? Where are we? It looks like some kind of pocket of air inside the ball pit. Oh, it's like a cool little hideout. But can we get out if we wanted to? Oh, let me see. What? What? But guys, the, the balls, they won't open up! I've never been this balls deep before. Well, Cody, I mean, you would enjoy having all these balls around you, right? Well, yeah, but not these kind of balls. Well, guys, if we want to get out, we can't. What are we going to eat? I don't know, dude. Let's scream out. Help! 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 Jeffy, have you seen my credit card? Jeffy, it's missing out of my wallet. You better not have taken it and bought something, Jeffy. What is this? A skee-ball machine? What? In a foosball machine! Jeffy, that is it! You are so grounded! What? Is that my phone? Hello? Hey, Marvin. Goodman, why are you calling me? Did you win the lottery recently? No. Did your grandfather die and you inherit a bunch of money? No. So then why are you running up your credit card like you do have a bunch of money? Well, I haven't ran up my credit card. I haven't used it once. Okay. Well, let's go over your purchases, shall we? $3,000 ski ball machine? $3,000? $2,000 foosball table? $2,000? $5,000 ball pit? $5,000 ball pit? You're making a lot of ball related purchases, Marvin. What? So if you don't pay off your credit card by the end of the month, I'm gonna show up to your house and I'm gonna bite your balls off, then I'm gonna put a tutu on and swing your balls around like a ball arena. Well, listen, listen, uh, someone stole my credit card, Goodman, and, but, but here's the thing, they left all the expensive things at my house so I can just return it. Okay, well let's hope they left the receipt at your house too. Well, I'm gonna find the receipt. And I'm gonna return all this stuff so I don't owe anything on my credit card. Well, for your balls, let's hope. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Jimmy! Where's the receipt for all this stuff, Jimmy? Where are you at, Jimmy? I need that receipt, Jimmy! But are you in the ball pit? Are you in here, Jimmy? <sighs> There's no point in screaming for help. No one's gonna hear us down here. I know you're in here, Jimmy! Wait, that's my daddy! Well, scream help so he can hear us! No, 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 no! Because he's gonna be really mad that I took his credit card! Well, I mean, yeah, I'd be mad if somebody stole my credit card, too. Well, we gotta be saved! Help! 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 Please help! Help, help me, daddy! I guess he's not in there. Aha! I found your shoe, Jeffy! I know you're in there! You're just choosing not to come out. Well, guess what? I'm gonna call the cops, and I'm gonna say that you stole my credit card because you're 18, and that's credit card fraud. And you're gonna go to jail, Jeffy. You don't care? Okay, I'm gonna call the cops. <sighs> I can't believe your dad didn't hear us screaming for help. Well, at least I'm not grounded. Well, we still have to get out of here. Man, if we had a girl in here, we could totally repopulate. I mean, just close your eyes and pretend I'm a girl. It's not the same. Hey there, you call the cops? Uh, yeah. 
Go on. Oh, you want me to start talking? No, I thought we'd all just sit here and guess why you called us. Or maybe we can play I Spy. Hey, Simmons, I spy with my little eye a massive waste of police resources. I'll give up. It's him, Simmons. Oh, there's the little bugger. Where are you from? All right, look, this is what happened. Someone stole my credit card and bought a ski ball machine and a foosball table and a ball pit. And I know who did it, but I don't want to tell you. Uh, okay, so it seems to me like all the stuff you just listed is here. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, so somebody stole your credit card, had all the stuff shipped to you, and you set it up like you were going to use it? Uh, yeah, well, see, like when the boxes came, I, I, I set it all up, and then I realized I didn't buy this. So you put all the balls into the ball pit before you realized you didn't buy a ball Oh, okay, pit. look, can I just tell you the truth? Yes, I would prefer that. I don't know why we didn't just start with that. Okay, so look, my son went into my wallet, took my credit card, bought all this stuff, and now he's hiding in the ball pit and won't come out. Okay, so you called us to, what, spank him? Well, no, no, he's 18, so I, I want you to, like, arrest him. Oh, you want to press charges? Only if he doesn't have the receipt to return all this stuff. <sighs> okay, so let me see if I have this straight. Your son stole your credit card, bought all this stuff, and now you want us to arrest him if he doesn't have the receipts to return the stuff? Exactly. You writing all this down, Simmons? I don't have a pen. <sighs> Thank you, Simmons. Yeah, so, like, that, that's what I want you to do. Okay, so let me see if I have this right. You want two professional police officers to dive into a ball pit during work hours? Yes. Ooh, I love my job so much sometimes. Okay, but before we do that, all this talk about credit card fraud is reminding me of when I had my credit card stolen. You had your credit card stolen? I did, Simmons. Thank you for asking. And I want to tell you all about it. All right, Simmons, just like we practiced. Da -da 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 -da. I, I once had my credit card stolen. I tried to get it back. back. I, actually, you know what, Simmons, let's not sing it. That's kind of lame. I'll, I'll just tell you about it instead. So I'm at my doctor job at the hospital, right? And I'm doing this long 18 hour open heart surgery and it's taken forever. I'm getting tired, I'm getting hungry. So eventually I tell the patient and the nurses, hey, I'm gonna go get lunch real quick. I'll be right back. So I go out into the waiting room where we have the vending machines. We have one of those nice vending machines, the new ones that takes credit cards, so it doesn't even matter if you don't have cash. So then I see they have Cheez-Its in the vending machine, and you know I'm gonna get Cheez-Its because I love Cheez-Its. So I swipe my card, get a bag of Cheez-Its. I swipe my card again, I get a second bag of Cheez-Its. And I'm thinking two bags of Cheez-Its are not enough Cheez-Its. I gotta buy the whole damn row of Cheez-Its. So I swipe my card again, and as I'm doing that, I notice out of the corner of my eye, I see somebody with binoculars watching me buy Cheez-Its. And I'm thinking, why would somebody have binoculars in a hospital watching me buy Cheez-Its? And then I realize, he must be with the Cheez-It Corporation. He's trying to keep track of how many Cheez-Its a single person can buy. And I'm thinking, maybe I'm going to win some kind of contest, you know, because I'm buying all these Cheez-Its. So I start swiping my card really slow so he can get all my information, because I want to make sure he can track me down to give me my Cheez-It reward, you know? So then I buy like seven bags of Cheez-Its. And then I walk over to the guy, because my curiosity is getting the best of me. I'm like, hey, hey, I see you. And then the guy hides his binoculars. And then I'm like, no, 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 I already caught you. I know you're with the Cheez-It Corporation. And then he's like, no, sir, I'm not with the Cheez-It Corporation. And I'm like, no, 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 I saw your binoculars. I already got you. And then I see in front of him, he has a piece of paper with a bunch of numbers on it. And it looks kind of like a credit card number. But then I realize that must be all the Cheez-Its I've bought in my lifetime. I'm definitely winning this contest. So I give the guy my name and my home address and my social security number, all the information he needs, you know, because I also want to make sure that I can write this off as a gift on my taxes when I get all my Cheez-Its. So he's so happy. Like, he's so happy to have all this information so I'm like I definitely won this contest so I go back home to my wife and I'm like honey Cheesy Wonka is gonna give me the Cheez-It factory. I'm gonna be a Cheez-It king. She doesn't believe me, she thinks I'm crazy. And I'm like, honey, you just watch. This is gonna be awesome. So I sit back and I'm feeling good, I'm feeling confident, and then my phone starts ringing. And it's my credit card company. And they said that my credit cards are all maxed out. And then my bank calls and said they're repossessing my house and my credit is ruined. Cause it turns out there was no Cheesy Wonka and that guy did not work for the Cheez-It company. He was a credit card scammer and he stole my identity and all of my money. So now, whenever I see somebody with binoculars, I just start throwing haymakers. Like one time, I was in the park and I saw these old ladies with binoculars, and then I started throwing haymakers. And yeah, it turns out they were bird watching, but still. So yeah, just be glad it was your son that stole your credit card and not some binoculars wielding scammer from the made up Cheese It factory. Okay, can we get Jeffy out of the ball pit to see if we can find the receipts? Yeah, sure. Ball pit time, Simmons! Oh, goody! 
Wow, this ball pit looks pretty deep. I was balls deep in your mother last night. Thank you, Simmons. Now I have that image in my head. Can you just go in the ball pit and grab Jeffy? I don't know, man. This looks kind of deep. I don't want to drown. What, drowned in plastic balls? Do you know how many ball pit related deaths there are every year? No. Well, neither do I, but it's got to be at least one, and I don't want to be it. So you're telling me that Jeffy could be dead in there? I don't know, man. Well, just go in there. You're a cop. Okay, but if I yell help, you help, okay, Simmons? I got it. I mean, that should go without saying, but with you, I don't really know. Okay. <laughs> Oh god! Oh god! I'm sinking! Simmons, help me! I got your mind! Uh, uh, Simmons, you saved my life! I don't know what I would do without you. Never let go, Simmons. I won't. Can you guys go in there and grab my son? Hey, I almost died, man. Oh, okay, look, so none of you are going to go in there. Hey, I have an idea. How about you go in here? Okay, I got an idea. How about we wrap, like, a string around one of you guys, so that if you go down there, we can pull you out. Ooh, that's a pretty good idea. Okay, I'm gonna go grab a string. Okay. There you go. Why do I gotta do it? Well, you're a better swimmer than me, Simmons. Back at the academy, we used to call you swimmins. Oh, that's right. I did get a bronze medal for swimming. Yeah, so when you get in there, when you find Jeffy, you tug three times, we'll pull you out. All right, what happens if I tug four times? That means you need to pee. What about five times? That means you have to poop. What about six times? That means you want some Cheez-Its. What about seven times? Well, that means you want to go to Outback Steakhouse when we're done here. All right, well, let's start tugging. Let's get some of that shrimp on the barbie. Oh, yeah, the chocolate thunder from down under. It's delicious. No, 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 you, no, no you're not going to tug more than three times. You only tug three times. If you find someone or if an emergency happens, you tug three times. All right. Go. Wait, how many times was he supposed to tug? Three. Oh. Uh, we're never going to be saved. I'm so hungry. Yeah, we might need to eat someone, dude. Start with my butt. Jesus Christ. Uh, a police officer, we're saved! Or harassed. Before you accuse me of anything, I didn't do it. Well, there's four of you. Well, yeah, yeah. You're here to save us? Yeah, let's go, kids. What you're going to do is you're going to hold on to each other's hands, and we're going to pull you out of here. Okay. Come on, dude. All right. Uh, uh, uh. What, how many was that? Was that Cheez-Its or Outback? Just pull, pull, pull! Ah! Ah! We're free! As a free man, Massa. Simmons, you saved four boys! You're a hero! I try, mate. But, Jeffy, do you have all the receipts for all the stuff you just bought? No! Well, yeah, you can come out, Jeffy! So, Jeffy, you do not have any of the receipts for all the expensive stuff you bought on my credit card? Well, I do have the receipts, but kind of not. How you kind of not? You either don't have it or you do. Well, I do have the receipt. Then show it to me. But I spit my gum into it. This is deserved. I am a shithead. So, are, are we pressing charges? Or am I going to Outback? What are we doing? 